Hey guys, I've got a really good video for you today because I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create stunning book cover designs that requires virtually no graphic design skills and can be used to create covers in virtually any niche. And if you stick around to the end, I've got a bonus for you in that I'll show you how to use this technique to make money online by creating products to sell on other platforms. So let's get to it. Now, if you've not been here before, my name's Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it, grow it. That's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So you're wondering what this is? Well, let's go over to Amazon and I'll show you some examples. So if we scroll down here, you'll get a good idea of what I'm going to be talking about. I'll click on one and you can see here we've got these arrangement of words. I'll show you this phone case cover. We've got this shape of a dog which is made up of words and this is called word cloud art. And using this technique, I'm gonna show you how you can easily take a graphic like this and turn it into a book cover like this. And it really is very fast. And also, I'll show you how you can create personalized book covers using this technique and give you some really interesting ideas on how you can use this in different niches and some good niche suggestions. Now the software I'm gonna show you is web-based, which means you can use this on any Windows or Mac computer. You can also create these on your mobile phone. There are apps there that are available. If you do use them, just make sure you can use them commercially. So what we're gonna to do today is go to this website at wordart.com where you can create these word cloud art pieces. And it's a case of clicking on create now and it will take us to this platform. So what you do initially is choose the words you want to appear in your word cloud art. What we've got here at the moment is love, happiness and energy. Then it's a case of clicking on shapes. Now word art does supply all these shapes that you can use, but you can also um, use your own shapes to create custom uh, word cloud art shapes. So for example here, we've got our words. We could click on this heart, click on visualize, and it gives us this heart with our words in it, love, happiness, and energy. Now, hint, hint, Valentine's Day is coming up. This would probably make a pretty good design for a lot of book covers. Now, to demonstrate creating the, the book cover I showed you, we first need our graphic, which is of a unicorn. Now, I went to Creative Fabrica, just put in unicorn silhouette, and I came up with this graphic, which I downloaded. You could go to other graphic platforms as well, like design bundles or something like Vecteezy. Again, put in unicorn silhouettes and you've got all these offerings that you can use. Again, just make sure you're aware of the licensing of all these graphics platforms. So all you do is click on add image and then you upload the image that you've downloaded. And I've got the unicorn image here. And it's just a case of clicking on it. Now we want to change the words that we're going to be using here. So I'm going to put in unicorn love and fantasy. So we've got our shape of our unicorn clicked. Now you can choose your font. We're just gonna to stick to the regular font here, but they do have many different fonts that you can use. Then we can click on layout. Now we can have our words horizontal or vertical or a mishmash of horizontal, vertical, diagonal. And you can adjust the density of the words. At the moment we're at 50%. I'll show you what happens if we turn this down and click on visualize. The words will become larger, here we've got our unicorn, the words will become larger and there'll be less of them within our image. Now for this, I'm just gonna move this up to around about eight. Now, the most important tab here is style. We can have the words in the color of our image. Remember our image was black, so we could have our words in black or we can create a custom color palette. So you just click on the colors and you can choose your colors and we can choose our background color. At the moment we've got it on pink. What I'm going to do is make the background transparent. So then it's just a case of downloading the image. So it's going to go for the standard PNG, which actually is going to be quite low resolution. And what you would need to do to get the, the, the right 300 dots per inch for your cover images, you'd need to download the HD, the high definition PNG. But in order to do that, you do need to, to pay for that. And the pricing for one month is 29 pounds so that'll be the equivalent in 
dollars and that's for a month's access. So now it's just a case of downloading standard PNG and that will download to the computer. And then we need to take it to the graphic uh, design software of our choice. Today I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator. You can do this on, on Inkscape, Photoshop, Gravit Designer. You could even do this on Canva as well, which is a free platform on which you can create your book covers. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator and I've downloaded from bookout.com our template. And this is going to be a book that's six by nine inches with 120 pages. It's important that you do get a template like this to create your book cover. And then all we need to do is just import or, or drag and drop our image of the unicorn. Now the reason we need our template there is that we want to be able to move the unicorn around and get it within these red borders so that it's not accidentally trimmed off when the, the book is created. So our unicorn now is in the right spot. We can get rid of our template and it looks a bit boring like that. So what I'm gonna do is put in a black background and you can see the colors suddenly pop. Now, I think you could leave that as is or you could add some text at the top or top and bottom, you know, unicorn lover or a funny quote that you can find off sites like Pinterest. So I think you'll agree that looks quite good. Now what I wanna show you now is using a similar technique to create a personalized book cover using this word cloud art, which have the potential to sell very well. Now our words are going to be different. Now I'm gonna do a Valentine's themed one. Remember Valentine's Day is coming up. There's still time to create your Valentine's Day books. If you're interested in more about that, I'll leave a link below in the description on creating a Valentine's Day book cover and you could use this technique. So we'll put in Valentine's, we'll keep love, we'll put in day, and this time we're gonna personalize this with a girl's name. So we're going to put in Mary. Now this is not gonna be a unicorn, so we need a different shape. Now I've already uploaded here a shape in the same proportions as our book cover. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to click on visualize. Now what we need to do is find a word here. I'm gonna show you a cool trick. So you click on the word like Mary. We're gonna move this up. I want this towards the middle of the front of the book cover. I'm gonna slightly enlarge it and I want to change the color. Something that will make it stand out a little bit more. So we're gonna go for this light pink. Now watch this, when we click on visualize, it leaves Mary in the middle and it puts all our other words around it. Now, if we go back to style, I want a transparent background again. So click on make transparent, go to download. I'm gonna click on standard PNG because I've not got a, a paid for account on this. So now we go back to our software suite. And again, we've got our template to get the right size. Now for this, we need to just drag our image that we've downloaded and we just need to move this into position. Put it in one corner, hold shift down, and just drag that down to the other corner. And we can get rid of our template. And what we're gonna do is put in a black background and you can see straight away how good that looks. And we've got our personalized name on the front there, which stands out. Now, obviously you've got to come up with a title for one of these books. So from this, it's difficult because you've got to have the title on the front cover or on the spine. Here, we haven't got any particular sort of words there. So what you would need to do is put a black rectangle down the middle of the book, like so. You can see that here. Now, if you want to get that in the right position, what you can do is just switch off our, our two layers here, switch back on the book cover template, and make sure that this is within that the dotted line. And we can enlarge that just so it's in exactly the right position. Just enlarge that just slightly, like so. Reduce the size again. Click off our template, click on the black background, click on our word art. And then we can write our title that we choose down the spine here. And in which case, or in this case, we've got Valentine's Day Notebook. So you can see we've got our title on the spine. We've got our personalized cover. You can agree that that looks pretty stunning. It, it stands out. Now, just think about different niches you could use this in, where you could personalize it. Now I've shown you a, a Valentine's Day book here. Think about things like Father's Day, Mother's Day, Birthday. Think about sports. Also, think about things like pets. So different dog breeds, cat breeds. So you could do this with a, a word art of say Burmese cats in a color scheme of a, of a typical Burmese cat. Or you could do a silhouette of a Burmese cat and put the words in there onto the front cover. So really it's only limited by your imagination. 
and you can see how you can use this in virtually any niche. I mean, you could even use this in on business books, you know, create a, uh, I don't know, an accounting ledger in a word art design. So there's, you say, it's just limited by your imagination. Now, this is the bonus, and I'm gonna show you how you can make money, or a way to make money, using this technique of creating word cloud art on different platforms by creating products. Now, when we went over to Amazon, I showed you these here, and you can create word art products on Merch by Amazon. If we go to the platform here, you could see that you could create these designs to produce t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, mobile phone cases, pop sockets, cushions, even tote bags. If we have a look on Amazon, we can see some examples here. Exactly what I was talking about, a pop socket with a dog breed. I think this is a Cairn Terrier. Now, in order to do this, you would have to open up a Merch by Amazon account, or you could create Merch on other platforms. So we've got Teespring here, and here's an example of a dog on a t-shirt, or Redbubble. If we scroll down here, we can see some of the different types of products you can create. Again, phone cases, bags, t-shirts. But look at this, you could do it with face masks. Very popular, probably very big sellers at the moment. So you could do a, a unicorn word art face mask. There are word art products for sale on Etsy. So you could create these products and sell them and send them out. Now, a lot of these appear to be posters. So you could have a color printer, print these onto quality paper, frame them up and sell them. Oh, look at that, <laughs> Paul the pig. And again, if we have a look at this one, you can do them personalized. So, you know, if someone's interested in a particular cat breed, you could do the cat and personalize it with their name on. So this is a great way of really creating unique products which customers love. And the one last way, which is a, an interesting idea, is on fiverr.com. You could join Fiverr and offer gigs of creating word art. And you can see here, we've got some examples of gigs that other people are offering. And we've got one here who's popular, it looks like they've done 290 of these, but this is quite interesting. You've got the basic offering of 10 words maximum. So the customer provides you with 10 words, you put 10 words in and you, you do that for a certain price. But the premium for 26.99, which must be just over $30, the only difference is it's more words, so it's 50 words. So for the extra money, all you have to do is sit there for a few extra minutes and type in 50 words instead of the, the basic 10. And again, you can create these images like this, like this, in, with the technique that I've just shown you. So that's a good way of actually making money fast. Providing a service like that is a good way of making money quickly because people yeah, give you the words, give you the design idea, you create it, you get the money. So theoretically, you could be up and starting with something like this on Fiverr and making money within the next day or two. Now, if you found this video useful, then make sure you click on this video next where I show you how to create a Valentine's Day book cover for free on Canva and make sure you click the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notification of when I produce more videos like this. Thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.